Welcome friends to another vegan Disney food video. Today we're here at Grand Destino Tower at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort for the reopening of Toledo, the rooftop restaurant which used to have an amazing plant-based seafood option. And we're going to check out what the new option is which is brick oven cauliflower. We'll see what else they have that we can enjoy. Stay with us. just finished dinner at Toledo and I'm down here in the lower lobby area. There's no one around me so I took my mask off. Um, we had an amazing time at Toledo. Our server was wonderful. We, I didn't have high hopes because it was just the cauliflower, brick oven cauliflower, but it was full of flavor and I enjoyed it even more than um, our recent visit to Citrico's which was more expensive than this. They lowered the price to $30. I know when the menu first came out, it was $34, but it's $30 for the brick oven cauliflower. And the flavors in it are just, I can't even describe it. There's the cauliflower steak itself, which is made in the brick oven, which is over 500 degrees. Then you're, it's served on a bed of Romanesco sauce. There's roasted tomatoes, which almost were unidentifiable as tomatoes. They had that much flavor packed into them. Um, there's also like pickled little carrot shavings on top and um, another pastiche of asparagus, spinach, and I believe artichoke. Um, but it's all completely vegan as is, of course. And yeah, that combined with the sides that we got, which I'll talk about in a second, really made this an amazing visit that uh, I would recommend to anyone over Citricos. We also got, there's actually quite a few vegan sides that you can get. There was Brussels sprouts, shishito, uh, blistered shishito peppers, and the braised gigante beans, which I thought, because I didn't look them up or anything, were going to be long green beans, but they're actually almost like um, lima beans or kidney beans type of thing, very big, flat, white beans, served in basically a tomato sauce. Um, so if that doesn't sound appealing to you, maybe skip that one. They were good, but I probably wouldn't order them again. Um, the fried Brussels sprouts, however, we started out our dinner with the pan con tomate, which is one of my favorites. They have switched it up from when they were open before, so it's on larger, chunkier bread right now versus the little individual sized like, baguette slices. Uh, but it's still just as good as I remembered it from before. I love that so much. It's just simple crushed tomatoes, garlic, salt and pepper, but it's just perfect and you definitely need to get that if you come here. Um, next up, dessert which is pretty much exactly the same if you went here before they closed down um, the avocado chocolate mousse, which is basically just a little spiral of mousse. It's not a huge serving. Um, it comes with strawberry basil sorbet, which was delicious, coconut crumble around the edge, and then um, meringue that's actually made from aquafaba. If you're really into chocolate mousse, this might not satisfy your chocolate needs. It's a very small amount for $10. Um, but if you just really want to try the vegan dessert, go ahead. It is a delicious one. It's just not a lot for what you pay. And uh, yeah, that pretty much sums up our dinner at Toledo. One of my favorite spots. It's just absolutely beautiful here at the Grand Destino Tower. I love all of the touches of Walt Disney and Salvador Dali. Uh, Toledo is gorgeous. More of the stained glass, similar to what you see behind me, is up there as well. And it's just a lovely spot, a beautiful vantage point from both sides. You can see Epcot and all of those parks on one side and Magic Kingdom on the other side if you walk around. So all in all, I would definitely come back here to Toledo again. I had a wonderful time. Let me know in the comments if you've been to Toledo before or if you're planning to come now that they've reopened and let me know what your favorite item is. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more vegan Disney food videos where our pixie dust is plant-based. Thanks for watching.